let's go to, to Jim Yarbrough. Of course, Jim Yarbrough started from 66 to 68. It is, of course, has been recognized as the tight end on the all 20th century team for Florida football and went on for a nine-year career with the, with, the, with the Detroit Lions where he played offensive tackle. Uh, Jim, can, just, um, can you just tell us, uh, give us an overview of, 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 some, of the, some of your highlights? Well, let me, let's start with this way. You, know, you, play, you were tight end for the Gators, and you were known for your versatility, both your, your importance of your blocking in the running game and also your receiving in the passing game. Uh, can you just share with us some of your personal highlights of that era from 66 to 68 uh, that resulted in you being named as the tight end of the century for the Florida Gators? Well, it was a thrill to play for the Gators. I was, uh, I was big. In, th in those days, uh, I was 6'6", 245, and at that size, I was probably one of the 10 biggest players in the country, 6'6", 245. Now every Division I program has 10 kids as that size or bigger. It's, it's amazing. Uh, but I asked for a chance to play tight end. I knew they probably wanted me to play in the offensive line or play defense. And I asked Coach Graves for a chance to play tight end. It, and it so happened that uh, the first game of the season that year, and freshmen couldn't play on the varsity at that time, so you were on the scout team. But we were playing uh, Northwestern. And they had a, a great tight end, an All-American named Kaz Banizak. So the scout team had to give the varsity a really good look at an offense that featured the tight end. So I, I got off to a good start. I, I was able to catch the ball and run some patterns and such and, and had some success. So uh, they left me there. And uh, once I got on the varsity as a sophomore, uh, because we had talented players like Richard, uh, we threw the ball a lot. And we had a quarterback named Steve Spurrier, by the way. Uh, so we had a wide open offense, so there was an opportunity for the tight end to be a, a part of that offense and catch more passes than you would think in, in, in that decade. So uh, not only did I get a chance to play tight end, but they actually threw the ball to me once in a while, which made it uh, a, a lot more fun. <laughs>